Happy Halloween, everybody! Today we're going to take a quick look at Hocus Pocus 2. This was directed by Anne Fletcher and stars Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy. Almost 30 years after the Sanderson sisters were resurrected by a virgin who lit the black flame candle, they are resurrected again by another virgin who lit another black flame candle. Apparently there's more than one of those. And it's up to a group of teenage girls to stop the Sanderson sisters before they can recite a spell known as Magica Maxima, which will make at least one of them all-powerful. I did enjoy the first movie in my youth, mostly because of the Sanderson sisters. They were clearly having a blast, and it was hard not to have fun along with them. It had some very funny moments, and after re-watching it recently, it still holds up pretty well. I was a little concerned the first time I saw the trailer for this movie, because I wasn't sure we really needed a Hocus Pocus 2. I don't think all that many people were clamoring for it, but apparently the actresses were very eager to play the Sanderson sisters again, which I can understand. I mean, they were clearly having a lot of fun. And it wasn't until the very end of the trailer where the guy says, you must be looking for the stage. And Winifred says, always. Okay, you had me with that last line, I'm in. And you know, this was actually a lot of fun. I can see why it went straight to Disney+, Plus because it does look a bit cheap at times, especially the scenes that take place in the woods. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd swear they just filmed that in the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. And the story is admittedly pretty thin, but it's only about an hour and 40 minutes, so they didn't stretch it out any farther than they had to. And honestly, I think it was a bit better paced than the original. Our heroes this time around are three girls who used to be really good friends and were super into witchcraft, not because they were seriously trying to cast spells or anything, it was just a fun hobby. And over time, one of them grew out of it and became popular, and so now there's a little bit of tension between them. And that's something a lot of kids go through. They grow up, they get into different things, and they drift apart, and the girls played their parts very well. And the story is largely about them realizing why they were friends in the first place and coming back together. And the Sanderson sisters are there to give them the conflict that brings them together and the comic relief that keeps the audience entertained. Midler, Parker, and Najimi are all wonderful and are clearly happy to be playing these characters again. And really, who isn't happy about that? And of course, as soon as they are brought back to life, they immediately burst into a musical number because why wouldn't they? One of the girls even says, who are they performing for? They did get John Debney back to compose the score, which was awesome, and this time around the witches get two musical numbers. One is a reworked version of Elton John's The Bitch Is Back, titled The Witches Are Back, because it's a kid's movie on Disney+, Plus. you can't say bitch, and a version of Blondie's One Way or Another, which was very well done. They even brought back Doug Jones as zombie Billy Butcherson, but I don't think his accent quite matches the first movie. Probably because it's been 30 years and he forgot how it goes. We also get to see some of the witches' backstory and are finally introduced to the mother that they mentioned in the first movie. We also see in these flashback scenes Tony Hale as a reverend who was kind of the sister's nemesis, and in modern day Salem he plays a descendant of that reverend and the town's current mayor, which give the sisters a target. And I especially want to give credit to the girls who played the teenage Sanderson sisters, Taylor Henderson, Juju Brenner, and Nina Kitchen. Where did they find these girls? They were amazing! Throughout that entire opening sequence, I'm thinking, my god, they are nailing this! Well done! It is certainly not a perfect movie, but it was entertaining as hell, and I enjoyed it very much. And if you're a fan of the original Hocus Pocus, I highly recommend checking it out. And the ending does leave the door open for a third movie, and if that happens, hopefully we won't have to wait another 30 years. And that's all I have to say about Hocus Pocus 2. Till next time. Take care.